The DAS click brick is a clay brick that is stacked dry by using clips. The bricks are manufactured to fit into the wall within the modular gauge of the system. A click brick has a groove on the top and bottom which are intended for the application of the clips. There is a recess along the entire height of the brick on the header side. This recess is intended for a problem-free application of cavity wall ties. The bricks are available in a number of different selections. Per selection there are, in addition to whole bricks, also half bricks, corner bricks, lintel bricks and whole and half window edge bricks. One makes or breaks the DAS click brick system by starting out with correct measurements. A perfectly implemented kicker course prevents discrepancies in height and width. The kicker course should be constructed from click bricks that are placed in mortar according to the modular specification. A handy aid in laying out the kicker course is the so-called header slat. One can make this by measuring out a 24 cm section on a long straight slat. By placing the click bricks on the section of the header slat, a vertical joint width results automatically. Always check to see whether the face and top of the kicker bricks are laid flatly and on an even level to ensure that the clips can be properly placed in the grooves. The connector clips between the bricks are made of stainless steel. The special shape of the clip ensures that it clamps itself into the groove so that the bricks are joined. The clips are applied into the groove of the brick and tapped into place by a plastic hammer, thereby ensuring that the weight of the next layer of bricks does not rest on the clips. The connector clips are also used to fasten the wall ties in the bricks. About 46 clips are required per square meter. For the corners, click bricks are supplied with a working length of 210 millimeters. This size of 210 millimeters is formed by half a click brick in combination with the top of a brick. Using this manner, one can keep on stacking corners with half bricks. To join the corner brick to the whole brick, a clip is pressed into the diagonal groove of the corner stone. Vertical wall endings end with whole and half end bricks. To ensure that the half bricks aren't loose in the facade, an extra clip is pressed into the end of the groove. This way, the half bricks are fastened to the facade. The click bricks are delivered in such a way that they can be processed directly from the pallet. The pallets have a code that can be found on the order form. The explanation of the code is indicated on the order form. That way, the operator knows exactly which type of click brick can be found underneath the cover. The operator takes a brick from the pallet and lays it on the underlying brick. After each layer, the connector clips are applied. The clips, with the open side downwards, must be placed in the groove at the vertical joint. It is important to properly clean the top of every layer of bricks with a brush before one continues stacking. In order to apply the click bricks completely level to the facade, one uses a string that is strung between the profiles. The stacked wall is aligned to the string. Thereafter, the clip is pressed across the wall tie, which anchors the facade to the stable base. Under normal circumstances, no more than four wall tiles per square meter are required. In practice, this means that one needs to apply a row of wall ties every five layers. The stacked click brick facade shows small, open vertical joints between each brick. It is important that the vertical joints in the applied facade are, as much as possible, of equal size.
To drill a hole for the plug and wall tie at the exact position, one can use a drill template. This ensures that the middle of the drilled hole is aligned with the layer size and that the hole for the wall tie is drilled precisely in the middle of the brick. Always keep the drill template perfectly level. Line up the side of the template with the vertical joint of the underlying brick. Yellow arrow at the vertical joint, drill through the yellow holes. Red arrow at the vertical joint, drill through the red holes. Once the click bricks are stacked up to the correct height, the wall ties can be placed. Hammer in wall ties are tapped into the inner wall using a ramming rod and hammer. Profiled threaded wall anchors are not tapped into the inner wall but are screwed in with a screw adapter which is included in the order. The profiled threaded wall anchors are used in the case of less hard base constructions like wood or aerated concrete. When using hard insulation materials, it is recommended to mount the insulation sheets before applying the wall ties. When soft insulation materials are used, the insulation sheets can be applied. As with bricklaying, click brick facades must also be provided with expansion joints. Expansion joints can be specified according to the standards for bricklaying. Expansion joints should be 5 mm wide. The 5 mm do not need to be added to the initial measurement. The expansion joint can be made by positioning the click bricks in the facade. No clips should be placed in the expansion joint. Click brick has special lintel bricks that are delivered in pairs. At the top of the brick, there is a notch that provides room for the lower flange of the lintel, the bedding strip and the gliding foil. The usual manner to span openings in the click brick system is by using steel lintels. The lintel is placed on a piece of stainless steel felt or an equally pressure resistant supporting material at the top of the lintel brick. The basic starting point for the click brick system is a bearing of 110 mm. The bedding strip must be placed with a 10 mm offset from the edge of the face of the brick. Gliding foil has to be applied across the full length of the lintel. When needed for the stability of the construction, the first two layers on the lintel can be glued together using click brick fix. All horizontal facade edges are glued. These edges refer to the three topmost layers below an opening in the facade and at the roof level. Gluing is done with an adhesive, the so-called click brick fix, which must be ordered along with the system. Click brick fix is delivered in tubes. The adhesive joint is less than half a millimeter and therefore has no negative influence on the height measurement. The adhesive has to be applied in the middle of a click brick. Furthermore, the adhesive needs to be used according to the instructions on the wrapper. The DAS company supplies click bricks in various selections. Nationally, as well as internationally, the company has satisfactorily finished a large number of projects. These projects all exude a strong monolithic facade. The facades combine warmth with countless maintenance-free materials that give the project a monumental aspect for the future. Because the system can be de-stacked, the product fits seamlessly in the cradle-to-cradle -cradle philosophy. The bricks are calibrated and are therefore 100% dimensionally stable. The bricks can be now, but also in the future, mixed in any color so that the facade and the bricks can keep on growing in the future. Everyone has a click when building with click bricks.